Bridget joins us now. Bridget, overall, how did today compare to yesterday? The biggest surprise of today was definitely gold. It was down about $100 an ounce. That represents the biggest two-day drop in 28 years. There's a couple of things going on today. Some investors were selling off their gold holdings to try to make up for losses in other areas. But Todd Hirsch says there's something else happening here, too. Some investors aren't confident that with what gold is backed by or if it's backed by anything at all as compared to something like the U.S. dollar. Investors are comfortable that the U.S. dollar is backed by the American government. Government. So no matter what is happening to the American economy, something like the U.S. dollar is backed by the Federal Reserve. That's going to be around a year from now. That's a much more comfortable investment for them. Tara. Right. Thank you, Bridget. Bridget joins us now. Bridget, overall, how did today compare to yesterday? The biggest surprise of today was definitely gold. It was down about $100 an ounce. That represents the biggest two-day drop in 28 years. There's a couple of things going on today. Some investors were selling off their gold holdings to try to make up for losses in other areas. But Todd Hirsch says there's something else happening here, too. Some investors aren't confident that with what gold is backed by or if it's backed by anything at all as compared to something like the U.S. dollar. Investors are comfortable that the U.S. dollar is backed by the American government. Government. So no matter what is happening to the American economy, something like the U.S. dollar is backed by the Federal Reserve. That's going to be around a year from now. That's a much more comfortable investment for them. Tara. Right. Thank you, Bridget.